<clears throat> hey, what's up, you guys? Just had a delivery today in Connecticut to Amazon, and uh, the facility was closed because of Thanksgiving. So instead of just um, sitting it, sitting in the truck, let's go ahead and uh, get a workout done. I always take my C4. Just uh, helps me energize a little bit. I usually uh, just. Uh, what do you call? Just take it dry. Mm. All right, so it's about 45 degrees outside. So that's why I have my jacket on, my hoodie on. Let's get my headphones, okay, you've got the headphones. I have my heater on, so once I'm back in, the truck is not as cold. And all right, guys, let's go out and get the workout done. Where I'm actually parked, this is not a truck stop. This is a simply a place where cars park before they go to work, like near like a train station. I'm gonna show you guys. So this is not a truck stop, as you can see. Simply uh, like a parking area, not too far from Metro North. That's a train line that goes into New York City. So they're not. You don't see any cars now. There's only a few, but I, I don't think it is legal for me to park here because there's a sign. On the other side says no truck parking. But but it's all good. We're taking a chance because uh, there's no other place where I can go park, especially this late night. So let's get a workout done. All right, just one quick thing, guys. I know a lot of truck drivers don't have the dumbbells and the things that you need to work out. So. Today we're just gonna do the body weight, a bunch of, uh, we're gonna do handstand push-ups, handstand walking, we're gonna do squats, and do some mountain climbing.
right guys, so they basically did four sets of some sort of handstand or hand walk if you can. Then you do sit uh, squats, four sets of 20, 30 as much as you can. And then four sets of push-ups. Uh, you do wide, shoulder width, then you do the inner, like the narrow. So kind of working out your chest, your triceps. Uh, it's gonna be a little unfair. I'm gonna use my dumbbells, I'm gonna do some delts. Cause I feel like I need to do that since I haven't worked out in two days. So let's go ahead and hit it. If you don't have dumbbells, the dumbbells that I have cost, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 bucks. You get it from Walmart. So you should get it for yourself if you're a full-time truck driver. Great workout is done. Now let's see, gonna go ahead and uh, have a protein shake. You always want to make sure you have something easily digestible after your workout. You can have a meal if you want to, but usually I prefer to go with a some sort of protein shake. All right, so this one is gonna be simple. Let's turn on the light. Alright, so I've got my regular protein shaker. Let me just show you guys. So basically, you've got a bunch of shelves. You kind of keep all your stuff like tea, whatnot, peanut butter, coffee. You can make it yourself sometimes when you're like at a rest area. You can buy coffee in the morning. You can make your own coffee. So I've got the whey protein. This is the one I got from Walmart. Again, the brand doesn't really matter. As long as you're getting the protein, you know, that's what matters. I'm gonna use water. Since I'm gonna be going to sleep in about 45 minutes, 
uh, it might not have been a great idea to get the to have the pre-workout it's probably gonna make it a little hard for me to go to sleep but since I am tired I might just pass out all right so I'll show you so that's about a full bottle of water let's get this bad boy open and Put about two seconds. Let's get the light on. There we go. I put about two scoops of whey protein. So I think it's about 45 grams. It's not even two full scoops. So right about 45, 50 grams of protein. That's basically what I need. My body weight. So I would say anywhere around two scoops. Is good for most people for most people who don't really count their macros you don't really need to know you don't need to you really carry a scale with yourself so if you're putting two scoops you should be yeah let's just turn off this light that should be enough so anyways protein shake I'm gonna drink it so just one more time I'm gonna show you guys the bed for the truck drivers so this is a double bunker I think that's what they call it so you got the first level these come up so it kind of turns into a table and you've got the upper level so you got two levels so if you've got a core driver you've got a big fridge and that's a space in the front so you've got um, uh, what if you, you've got a closet right there one at the bottom got some space here to put your stuff we got a closet there closet here we got a sunroof I'll make another video of a complete tour so anyways for anyone watching thanks for watching smash them smash that like button and subscribe thanks for watching bye